Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you have ever been to Goa and you rode around in one of those little scooters and you thought to yourself, man, if only I had a convertible. Well, we have a surprise for you. Introducing the 2016 Mini Cooper S convertible. So in terms of overall design, BMW has told us that this is a completely brand new Mini. But it appears that they've taken a page out of Porsche's design studio. Everything is completely new, but still the same. Okay, so we're doing a little road trip all the way to Verna to get an idea of what this new Mini is all about. So first impressions, it looks quite different from the earlier car. It's still a Mini, but it's much bigger. It's, it's a lot more aggressive. It's not cute anymore. Everything new, but still exactly the same. What are your thoughts? Well, frankly, I think it is new. You'll probably not realize it if you are just looking at this car without having the old one in perspective. Right. But if you look at a photo of the old car and then see this one, yeah. you would know there's so much difference. And what's really great is uh, I like that the S model particularly has dual exhaust at the back, uh, just down the middle and that gives a really cool look to it. It's a completely different animal with the top off. It just feels so much more raw and oh my god, this is amazing. This is surreal. My only, only wish that this car came in a manual version. Just, ah, that's, that's just, if it had a manual gearbox, you could do like a little bit of heel and toe, just flick it around a bit. We are used to DHGs now, we are used to dual clutch automatics and this one isn't a dual clutch, it's a previous generation transmission and it's a little slower compared yeah. to the dual clutch. The throttle response is actually really good considering that this is a turbocharged engine mated to this particular gearbox. Um, it does take a little bit of time to spool up but you know what, I can live with it. There's a there's little bit of lag, there is just, a, bit, a, little just lag. a little bit. The bite point of the brakes is really great, it's quite progressive, gives you a lot of feel and uh, no complaints there in the braking department. So in terms of driving dyna dynamics, they have really done a fantastic job it does feel like a go-kart, um, you can flick it around quite a bit. So we had a little time on the twisties and what I could tell is that this is a very sorted chassis. I mean, it is precise. This is actually an electrically assisted rack, but it really didn't feel like one. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't. and it's just, the feedback is absolutely amazing. Okay, so we are in the John Cooper Works version of the Mini Cooper S, which is the hot version of the hot car. Uh, we're gonna accelerate to 120 kilometers an hour and then slam on the brakes. Uh, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So full accelerator, just putting it in sports mode. And I got to 100. So we've just spent the whole day with the Mini Cooper S convertible and boy, I am completely floored by this machine. It is a very capable track car. It is supremely comfortable when you want it to be. It catches all the eyeballs and at the price tag of just 35 lakh rupees, it is a bargain. If you have the money and you put your money into this car, you're not just getting one, but three cars in one. And I want one so bad. I think I'm, I'm just gonna go and see if I can sell my kidney somewhere. And uh, do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to Power Drift. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much.